Hey, I'm Dennis from the saladtable.com.au and thank you very much for purchasing the 52 plant salad table. It also has an optional trellis on the back and at the end of this video I'll also show you how to put that together as well. So welcome to the salad table family and don't forget to watch all our videos on how to grow your own seedlings, how to use our salad table nutrient, etc. Alright, let's put this thing together. Remove all contents from your box and lay out on the ground. Locate the four mid-length pieces and insert the adjustable feet. It may require a light tap to ensure the feet are fully inserted. And these will be your legs. Now push in the four caps at the opposite end. Position the frame clamps on both ends of the remaining pieces. Place them on loosely, ensuring that both ends are orientated in the same direction. Use two long pieces and attach to two legs. Leave a gap of around two inches at the adjustable foot end. I've just used a seedling basket as a rough guide. Tighten the clamp with a 5mm Allen key. Now repeat this process at the other end. Mount the next piece flush with the top of the leg. Tighten both ends into position. Repeat this process with the two remaining legs and the two remaining long lengths. Clamp the five remaining pieces in the upright position as shown. The fifth piece is to be clamped in the middle. Now place the first frame section directly on top. Ensure they are aligned correctly and tighten. Turn the frame over onto its feet. Now it's time to place the channels on top of your frame. Just ensure if you have a trellis to make sure that the wide spaced holes are at the same side as your trellis will sit. You can change this later as the lids are removable and interchangeable. Fit the drain manifold into each channel ensuring that they are seated correctly. This will be the lower end of your cellar table where the water drains to. Remove the threaded caps from your plastic tubing and then insert into the rubber grommet 
Do this with all four channels. Discard the threaded caps as you won't need them. Once in position, tighten the remaining threaded caps. You may have to loosen the cap, turn the pipe, when it's repositioned, tighten the cap again. Position the length of PVC in the center. Apply thread tape to the thread. Push the straight fitting onto the PVC tube tightly and then screw to the threaded fitting. Tighten by hand. At the opposite end of the PVC tube, apply thread tape to the tap. Screw into the 90 degree fitting and tighten by hand. Now push the 90 degree fitting onto the PVC tube. At this stage, ensure the tap is fully open. Now attach the pump hose to the tap fitting and push on. Now it's time to put your nutrient container together. Remove the 100 litre nutrient container from the box. Open it out. And then insert each pole into the inserts right around the 100 litre nutrient tank. Flatten out. Place into position underneath your drain manifold. Insert the fitting into the pump. Attach the plastic tubing to the pump fitting and then place into the nutrient tank. Push the drain pipe tightly into the manifold. and fill your tank with water. You can now do up the zipper so that the pipe, cable and plastic tubing come out of one hole. Another option is to shorten your drainage pipe. Do up the lid, placing the pipe over the top of the lid and into the drainage gauze, which now acts as an extra filter. Your cellar table is best suited on a flat surface. Make any adjustments with the adjustable feet to ensure a slight downhill slope towards the drainage end. Now it's time for a leak check. Turn on the pump, ensure that each channel is flowing, and check all your fittings for any leaks. It's now time to add your salad table nutrient. Add 250 ml of A, mil of B, 2 If you haven't purchased a trellis at this stage, you can purchase one in the future and it fits up very simply. Place it to the top cross beam of your cellar table and clamp into position.
The cross beams are also adjustable. Simply loosen off, slide into position, and then re-tighten. And there you have it, your 52 plan salad table with optional trellis is now completed. All right, don't forget to watch our videos on how to grow your own seedlings from the grow cubes that we've also supplied you here. How to use the nutrient, which you should always use. Don't ever use anything else, otherwise you'll probably have issues with growing. And how to grow seedlings that you've bought from the hardware or the local nursery, etc. In our grow baskets that we've also supplied with you as, for you as well. There you go. Alright, I'm Dennis from thesaladtable.com.au